Have you ever stopped to think about where the electricity that powers your games comes from? It's easy to take for granted the instant on world we live in, but behind every glowing screen and charged device is a source of power, a story of energy generation. And what about the lights that brighten our homes and streets? Where does that energy originate? We harness energy from the sun, a massive nuclear reactor in the sky, constantly showering us with light and heat. We also capture the power of wind, transforming its kinetic energy into electricity with towering turbines. And for a long time, we've relied on burning coal and gas, ancient stores of energy trapped beneath the earth. But there's another, almost unbelievably powerful source of energy, one that dwarfs all the others in terms of potential. It's hidden inside the very building blocks of matter, inside atoms. This process, the key to unlocking this incredible power, is called nuclear fission. It involves splitting atoms carefully and deliberately to unleash a tremendous amount of energy. Imagine a supercharged spring, coiled tightly and ready to burst, residing inside every atom's nucleus. Fission is the process by which we release that pent-up energy, converting a tiny amount of mass into a staggering amount of power. By learning to split the atom, a feat of scientific ingenuity and persistent experimentation, we unlocked a new and incredibly efficient way to generate electricity on a massive scale, capable of powering entire cities. Unlike burning fossil fuels, fission doesn't create smoke or release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This makes it a cleaner and more sustainable option for meeting our planet's growing energy demands. The very idea of splitting something so incredibly tiny to generate so much energy is almost unbelievable. A true testament to the power locked within the universe. But it's not science fiction. It's real science, based on fundamental principles of physics. Over the course of this journey, we'll explore exactly how fission works, how brilliant scientists painstakingly figured it out, and most importantly, why it's such a remarkably powerful source of energy. By the end of our exploration, you'll have a solid understanding of the science behind nuclear power plants, those modern marvels of engineering. You'll also learn about its applications in other areas, like powering submarines that can stay submerged for months at a time. And perhaps most importantly, you'll gain insight into why fission could potentially play a crucial role in shaping our energy future, providing a clean and reliable source of power for generations to come. So let's dive into the awesome and fascinating world of nuclear fission and unlock the secrets of the atom. Before we split atoms, let's understand what they are. Everything, your chair, the air, even you is made of atoms, the universe's building blocks. Atoms are so tiny that millions could fit on the period at the end of this sentence. Inside each atom is a nucleus packed with protons and neutrons with electrons whizzing around it. Protons are positive, neutrons are neutral, and electrons are negative. The number of protons determines the element, one for hydrogen, six for carbon, eight for oxygen. For fission, we care about uranium, a heavyweight atom with 92 protons. Uranium's nucleus is huge and unstable, like trying to hold too many bowling balls at once. This instability makes uranium radioactive. It can fall apart or shoot out particles to become more stable. That's why uranium is perfect for fission. It's just waiting for a nudge to split. When it does, it releases energy and particles. This is the key to unlocking nuclear power. Let's see how it happens. So, we have our big wobbly uranium atom. Imagine it, a dense core, packed with an incredible amount of energy, just waiting to be unleashed. This energy is what binds the nucleus together, a powerful force at play. To release that energy, to tap into this atomic reservoir, we use a neutron, one of the neutral particles residing inside the nucleus. It's a fundamental building block of matter, carrying no electrical charge. When a neutron, traveling at just the right speed, hits a uranium-235 atom, the nucleus absorbs it, incorporating the neutron into its structure and becoming even more unstable. It's like adding one too many weights to a balancing scale. It stretches, vibrates violently, the nucleus struggling to contain the added energy. And then, unable to hold itself together, it splits into two smaller nuclei. This is fission, the heart of the process. The split doesn't just create smaller nuclei, it creates entirely new elements like krypton and barium, born from the ashes of uranium. And in this dramatic breakup, it releases a burst of energy as heat and radiation, a testament to the immense forces within the atom. Crucially, and perhaps most importantly, two or three more neutrons are shot out at high speed, like bullets from a gun. The energy released comes from a tiny bit of mass turning directly into energy, a concept that revolutionized our understanding of the universe. 
Just as Einstein predicted with his famous equation E and MC2, the cornerstone of modern physics. If you weigh the pieces after fission with incredibly precise instruments, they're slightly lighter than the original uranium atom. A minuscule difference, but a significant one. That missing mass, that tiny deficit, became energy, transformed according to Einstein's equation. Multiply this single atomic event by trillions upon trillions of atoms splitting every second, and you get enough power to run entire cities, illuminating homes and powering industries. That's the magic of fission, a self-sustaining chain of tiny splits, each unleashing a tremendous amount of energy, far beyond what one might expect from something so small. But how do we keep it going this cascade of atomic splitting? That's where the concept of the chain reaction truly shines, the key to unlocking sustained nuclear power. Let's take a closer look and see how it works, how those ejected neutrons perpetuate the process. Splitting one atom isn't enough to power anything. The real power comes from a chain reaction, like a row of dominoes falling. When a uranium atom splits, it releases neutrons that can split more atoms. Each split releases more neutrons, causing more splits and so on, growing exponentially. In a fraction of a second, this cascade releases a massive amount of energy. In a nuclear power plant, this chain reaction is carefully controlled. Engineers use control rods to absorb extra neutrons, adjusting the reaction like a gas pedal or brake. This keeps the reaction steady, producing a constant flow of heat for electricity. The secret isn't splitting one atom, it's keeping the chain going, safely and predictably. Next, let's see what it takes to make this reaction self-sustaining. For a chain reaction to work, you need enough uranium packed together. This is called critical mass. If the uranium is too spread out, neutrons escape and the reaction fizzles. Critical mass means there are enough atoms close together, so neutrons keep hitting new nuclei, sustaining the reaction. Less than that is subcritical, the reaction dies out. More is supercritical, the reaction grows explosively. In power plants, operators keep the reactor exactly at critical using control rods to balance the reaction. In nuclear weapons, two subcritical masses are slammed together to go supercritical, causing a massive explosion. Achieving and controlling critical mass is the key to both nuclear power and weapons. In reactors, it's all about balance and safety. In bombs, it's about unleashing all the energy at once. That's why control is everything in nuclear technology. How do we turn fission into electricity? Enter the nuclear reactor. The reactor's job is to start and control a chain reaction, generating heat. Inside, uranium fuel pellets are stacked in metal tubes, fuel rods, bundled together in the reactor core. Control rods made of neutron-absorbing materials are inserted to manage the reaction. The heat from fission is absorbed by coolant, usually water, kept under high pressure. This superheated water flows to a steam generator, where it heats a separate loop of water into steam. The steam spins a massive turbine, which turns a generator to make electricity. The process is similar to coal plants, but the heat comes from splitting atoms, not burning fuel. The electricity travels through power lines to homes, schools, and businesses. Nuclear reactors are all about harnessing fission's heat, safely and efficiently. That's how splitting atoms lights up your world. But how does this compare to burning fossil fuels? Nuclear fission and fossil fuels represent two distinct approaches to generating electricity, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Both serve the same fundamental purpose of powering our world, but they achieve this goal in very different ways, with vastly different environmental consequences. Burning coal, oil, or gas, the traditional method, is a chemical reaction that releases energy, energy that we then harness to create electricity. However, this process also releases carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, into the atmosphere. This CO2 traps heat within our atmosphere, acting like a blanket. This is a primary driver of climate change, leading to rising global temperatures and a host of other environmental problems. Nuclear fission, on the other hand, is a nuclear reaction, a process that occurs at the atomic level. It's fundamentally different from a chemical one, like burning fossil fuels. Crucially, nuclear fission produces no carbon dioxide during electricity generation. Instead of smoke and harmful gases, nuclear plants release mostly water vapor into the atmosphere. It's a clean, visible contrast to the plumes of smoke billowing from fossil fuel plants. Uranium's energy density is staggering. It packs an incredible amount of potential energy into a small space. Just a tiny pellet of uranium fuel contains the energy equivalent of a whole ton of coal. That same pellet also equals thousands of cubic feet of natural gas. 
Because of this incredible energy density, nuclear plants need far less fuel and consequently create much less waste by volume compared to fossil fuel plants. However, it's important to acknowledge that nuclear waste is highly radioactive, posing a unique challenge. This waste must be stored safely and securely for a very long time, often thousands of years, to prevent environmental contamination. In contrast, fossil fuels dump their waste, CO2, directly into the air we breathe, dispersing it across the globe. This constant release is fundamentally changing our climate and impacting ecosystems worldwide. Fission offers the promise of huge power generation, with virtually no greenhouse gases, a significant advantage in the fight against climate change. However, it also creates long-lasting radioactive waste that requires careful management. Fossil fuels, on the other hand, create waste that is less potent in the short term, but the sheer volume of CO2 released is so massive that it's fundamentally changing the planet's climate and weather patterns. Therefore, the choice between these energy sources is a trade-off, a complex decision with significant implications. On one hand, we have clean, powerful, but complex nuclear energy with its waste management challenges. On the other, we have dirty, familiar fossil fuels with their contribution to climate change. Understanding the nuances of both energy sources is absolutely crucial for making informed decisions about our energy future and building a sustainable world. Nuclear fission's story began in 1930s Europe with scientists like Lisa Meitner and Otto Hahn. They discovered uranium atoms could split, releasing huge energy. This breakthrough came just before World War II, raising fears of atomic bombs. The U.S. launched the Manhattan Project, racing to build a bomb before Nazi Germany. In 1942, Enrico Fermi's team achieved the first controlled chain reaction in a makeshift Chicago lab. This led to both the atomic bombs of 1945 and the peaceful use of nuclear energy. After the war, the focus shifted to using fission for electricity. President Eisenhower's Atoms for Peace speech promoted nuclear power worldwide. The first nuclear plants appeared in the 1950s, promising a new era of energy. Fission's discovery reshaped history, bringing both hope and challenge. Today we face a huge challenge, powering our world without harming the planet. Burning fossil fuels pollutes and warms our climate. Nuclear fission offers massive, reliable, carbon-free electricity, day and night. It can anchor a clean energy grid alongside solar and wind. But fission has challenges, public fears, waste storage, and past accidents. Scientists are developing safer, more efficient reactors and new ways to handle waste. Small modular reactors and advanced fuel cycles could make nuclear power safer and more flexible. Understanding fission lets us make informed choices about our energy future. The power inside the atom is immense. How we use it is up to us. Our generation must decide. Will we use this knowledge to build a cleaner, brighter future? It all starts with curiosity and understanding the science.